Hey guys, so I'm back with my usual Visual K buys. Um, I bought a lot, well not as much as I usually buy probably, so that's that's actually better because I buy like way too much stuff. But um, this time I bought like a great amount of different varieties of music um, in Visual K. I do listen to a lot of different things, but I do tend to like a little bit of harder stuff these days compared to what I did before, but here's like a taste of what I bought this time. So first we got Garrick's Freedom. Um, they're a lot more popular, I want to say. They're not too hard, but they're actually pretty fun. I'll link their um, video down below. It's actually really, really good. Shinotsuku Ame. Their best album, Shinotsuku Ame. This one was actually really good. Um, if you like old Japanese instrumentals then this one is actually really good the vocals are awesome too so i really like this because i do like a lot of old japanese um instruments so like when i hear stuff like this is actually just like amazing um another band that's similar to that would be kiryu but um i i don't listen to them too much i listen to them sometimes actually but not a lot but i really love this shinosuke and Ame is really good we have Archimi. Um, they're actually, what, like Buddhist K, if you want to put it like that. So a lot of their themes has to do with like Buddhism and like stuff like that, like samsara, like um, death and rebirth and stuff like that. So a lot of old Japanese terms that Japanese people don't use, a lot of their um, what song titles have to deal with that. So that's actually pretty amazing. And they're a lot darker and harder too. So I really like them too. We have Smileberry, which is probably the poppiest, I want to say, out of all the stuff I bought this month. Smileberry is very, very happy. Um, they're doing actually very well compared to, like, their old band, I think. Um, but uh, I still like them. I do like, you know, darker music. A little darker, you know, more harder, edgier music these days. But um, I still got their new um, single, Greed Prince. Death Spiral. I was debating whether to buy this because I haven't bought a lot of their older stuff, but like it was just so good. The only reason why I didn't want to buy it, honestly, is because I haven't bought their older stuff. And for me, when I buy one thing, then it makes me want to buy the rest of their discography. So I was like, maybe I shouldn't get it, but it was just really, really good. And I've been meaning to get into them, but I follow way too many bands. And their discography is already like packed and I'm like way behind so I'm like maybe I shouldn't because I already spent too much on CDs but this was actually very very good. I listened to the whole album and yeah it's really really good. When I start up Twitch I'll play it for you. Grimoire. Love them. Um, their costumes and theme is very very pretty. It's like um, I want to say like Galaxy. For their themes like you can see it like in the back and this one was about like mermaids but their costumes are always amazing like i really like this band and this this single was really really good dexcore now they're from nagoya and i really really want to see them but uh i haven't been to nagoya yet so i don't know but when i go i do hope to see them i hope they're around for some time because the vocals and the instruments are pure, just amazingness. Um, Imitation was like the lead track on this single and it was really, really good. Lots of screams and growls. If you're into like harder edgier music, this was actually really, really good. I would check this out. Imitation. So Ellison Limit, um, if you were into like Nightmare, the drummer Ruka from there is in this band too, or it's his project pretty much. Um, with vocalist Yusa from The Kitty, and I love The Kitty, really, really love The Kitty. I'm sad that they had to disband, obviously. I'm sad when all bands disband, but um, they were actually really good, and I love The Kitty, and I followed them all their career, too. Um, but now the vocalist Yusa is, um, what, guest vocalist, I want to say? I'm not too sure how the project's working, or maybe it's, like, just their full band now for um, Ellison, but... Yeah, he's the vocalist of that, so I'm like, yes, I have to get this. Then we have Maguro Kaitai Chainsaw, which is 
Akame. I like Akame too. Well, but I've been following them for like forever. Um, they've been in a lot of different bands, uh, and I was happy that they came back in a new band. I'm hoping this band actually sticks around because I do hate when bands disband and then form new bands. I'm not gonna lie, especially since their last band was already really good, you know, and they came back and this band is just as amazing. So I'm hoping they stick around for a long time. But yeah, here's just the hoping for that. And then I got Shell Me um, Occult Full Course. I was supposed to buy it a long time ago, but I didn't, so I added this to my wish list and I got it this time around since I had the money to do so. I don't know why. Yeah, I thought I I didn't spend too much money this time around, so I might as well get it this time. Beyond these walls. Far East Design. This one was actually really good. Leda is the lead guitarist in this. Well, the only guitarist, um, pretty much. So everybody's hoping for like what well, spectacular works from him, but um, I still like it. I love it actually. There's a lot going on where a lot of different people don't really too much care for it, or they're hoping for him to deliver something that he's delivered in the past. And I mean, like, I'm sure he's trying, or I'm sure he's he thinks he's give, you know giving his all, but I guess teach their own. Some people's gonna like it and some people won't, but I still like it. Dimlim. Um, the lead song, the silent song, was actually really, really good. Um, the other songs were actually really good too. I'm supposed to see them live when my friend comes in a few weeks now. So yeah, we're going to see them live and I'm sure that's going to be amazing. This is pretty dark, as you can tell pretty much by the covers itself. It's pretty dark, but um, I liked it. I really did. Compared to like their last mini, I think this one was better. But um, their last mini had a song that I really liked which was called Minstrel Cycle, basically. <laughs> but it was actually really, really good. <laughs> Monslow, Black Money, Dirty Truth. This one was actually really good too. I like them. They're a pretty um, crazy band. Uh, a lot of electronics too. Screams and growls. Um, this one had less of the screams and growls, if I'm correct, compared to like their first album. So this one was actually really good. Just a lot of clean vocals. So if you want to try somebody out, kind of party band, this one's actually really good. Morgan, the corpse mansion. It it had all of their previous singles built into one album, so I wasn't too excited. I mean, I'm excited for like the new songs because I don't have the new songs. But besides that, it just kind of sucks that they they take a long time to make an album and then it's comprised of like their old singles. I'm like, mm. I still got it though. Still got it for like the newer stuff, but I'm hoping the next album turnaround is a lot better than this one. Then we got Lavins. I think they are newer. I um, heard them on the site that I look at and their first song, Kizuna, was actually really, really good. It's very pretty. Um, it's a ballad and I really liked it. The um, They're very, what popish the ballad for the ballad kids and I was actually really really pretty so I got it and I was like huh I'm gonna try them out and then there was revolver and Kimi Ito and those songs were actually really really good too so I'm about to stand them already and I don't know if they have anything else out I think I checked and there wasn't anything so I think they're a new band but I'm not really too sure but if you guys have a chance I would at least listen to this live bands keys and up Arshte, rated R. <laughs> it's obviously rated R if you if you see the video. <laughs> uh, the, the video is a lot. The, the video is a lot to take in. Um, it's the connection to one of their previous songs that was filmed back in 2012, I think it was. Um, this one's called Dokumaru. So, um, what's the revolving? Poison, pretty much. Um, the first one had to deal with this girl's dad being very abusive and he raped her and stuff like that. And that wasn't the best 
everything and the mom kind of stood around and blamed the girl pretty much for being how she was compared to blaming the dad so the girl poisoned the mom and the dad and killed them but at the end which i'm not too sure if it was in the previous video or when they redid the um mv but she was pregnant and she's obviously pregnant with the dad's baby which is so sad oh my god um but then now in this new video the girl's growing up and you know it shows a lot of stuff like um the little girls beat up by other little girls and it, even in my schools they have a lot of things where they put up like um egma zero so like uh no like bullying pretty much obviously it still exists i mean people can write different things or try to like you know put up different things so people don't do it but i mean it's still happens i mean like all my life we had dare which you know was trying to get us not to smoke and like how many people smoked you know so i mean it doesn't do too much it's it's hard to make people go down a certain path and there's still a lot of bad things that exist in japan too still even though they're trying against it but you see her getting beat up and then there's um the mom, which is the old girl from, um, you know, five years ago, pretty much, um, her has her boyfriend now is pretty much doing the same thing. My God, the same thing. He's he, he's in love with the daughter. That's not his blood, obviously, but um, still, like he's doing stuff to her, and it, oh, there's a part in that that's pretty sick pretty sick you have to watch the video oh my god they make <laughs> they touch on a lot of um issues in japan i want to say but a lot of visual k bands if you actually follow visual k they touch on a lot of issues in japan that's actually relevant um a lot of people don't know about that because they don't really listen to visual k but maybe that's why it's not such a big thing in japan is because it touches on so many things um one being um wrist cut which is like cutting your wrist which is you know like a prominent thing i mean like all over the world but um it visual k i want to say touches on a lot of things that people don't want to talk about so if you ever really want to know some things about visual k i mean not everything but certain bands actually touch on it a lot arch day is one of them they touch on a lot of different things like rape and stuff like that and i mean it's it's horrible but i mean even the film's it's in the film, so you really have to watch Do Dokumawaru to, like, understand what I mean. And then we have another, um, Show Me. Hokokogo no Kyoshitsu. I was supposed to buy this a long time ago, and I didn't, so I bought it. Show Me is pretty jazzy. Um, so if you like kind of jazzy-ish music, every once in a while they'll deliver like that ballad or like that um, kind of more scream and growl type music. But a lot of their stuff I want to say is pretty jazzy, especially the the um, last two CDs I just talked about by Show Me. The Raid, I've been following them obviously since their start actually, and at that time I've always wanted more from them. They always deliver. They are pretty, I want to say... Hmm. Various in music. So they release, you know, that kind of hard, that hard song, and then they'll release like that sad song, and then that poppy song, and then that jazzy song. So they deliver everything, but they they focus mostly on probably like um kind of like popish music, not more than anything. I want to say. Then we got Tensai. Tensai is actually <laughs> pretty fun. Um, uh, a lot of people call them like the joke band because they mix a lot of stuff together and it's like they're making fun of different bands but at the same time delivering music. Um, so what, like a parody band I guess? But there's screams and growls in it every once in a while but then there's also like it'll change from that to like something very very poppy and just like wait where are we going? And then you know just very various in tunes in one song so yeah if you like you know, kind of like, mm, I want to say, like the progression is just different at like every turn. So we're doing something hard and then we're soft and then we're like into a ballad or like what's going on again. 
they do it a lot. And they're pretty new, but they're pretty good. And they had two different singles, so... Well, one single, but the singles had different songs, so I got both. Vice Lips Timer was actually very, very pretty. Um, I've been following Vice Lip for years, too. I mean, I've been following a majority of these bands for years. As long as they don't break up, <laughs> it's always years. But um, Vice Lips Timer and Level 1 was actually really, really good. And I like Vice Lip. I really want to see them live, but I haven't seen them yet either. And they just had their 10th year anniversary, I want to say, this past... Uh, what well, past year now. Vex and Scary, really good. Um, I like their last album better than this, though. Their last singles were actually better than this to me, too. But it was still good. The Wallace, Insult Us. It was good, but compared to like a lot of the other stuff that I got this time around, it falls short, I want to say. Just because, probably because I like too many bands. That's pretty hard, you know. But I still liked it, obviously, or I wouldn't have bought it. <laughs> and then Ramiel, which they are disbanding Sadness. But they had like a... Uh, what's it like a five consecutive month single even though every single was only one song for like 500 yen It's sad, but I'm still collecting them only one more left in January This time around I got a lot of different comic CDs I got Smileberry, Dexcore And some other bands inside. Oh, we got Monslo Vexen Carries Offshot, Akume, their common DVD. We got Lavin's common DVD. I'm gonna stand the hell out of them real quick. Shinosuka Ame, their common DVD. I really like them too. Dim Lim was actually really good this time around, and they actually signed the DVDs this time around. So that was actually pretty amazing. And I got both of their singles, so they. Did it to both. <laughs> Let's see. I actually thought it was going to be pictures. I like the new look even though it's different. It's a lot darker than their previous look, I want to say. So I really like that. And then Garx actually signed it too. I really like their new single too, but Garx actually signed their picture. So that was pretty cool. I actually love when I get signed stuff. And then we got Morgan's comment DVD. And last but not least, Death Spirals to the Galaxy and their comment DVD. Always get a bunch of different magazines. So you can always see what new bands are up to. There's always interviews and stuff like that so you can keep up to date on what's going on and stuff like that. I got this one before and I think I showed it to you guys before. But I'm guessing because they're not onto like their next number 48 that they're still showing this. Some posters for like the Far East Designs, newest one Beyond the Walls. I oh, love so on project, love so on. But um this is like his like lives for 2018. This one of the biggest signed pictures I have to date. <laughs> oh no, that's not true. I got that poster, huh? Never mind. I wish it was the whole band though, but... Uh, but that's pretty much it. See you guys next time. Bye. Oh wow, you're still here. Oh wait, don't forget to check the description box below. I put a lot of different things in there, like my lovely friends, my social media, just in case you want to catch up with me on Twitter or Instagram and so forth like that. So make sure to please check that out, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.